All right, today we're going to talk about breaching a minefield. This is a pretty standard um, minefield here. These uh, rubber bands uh, represent a uh, concertina wire fence. And these little tacks represent uh, landmines. We'll just call them anti-tank mines. Uh, you can see that it's tied into the train. Uh, there's, we're talking about we're in a valley right now. There's mountains, a uh, mountain range, peaks on, on either side. Another important thing to uh, note is this guy. <laughs> he's an overwatch. He's, bad. he's a bad guy. He's overwatching this. You're always going to have, uh, generally speaking, um, you're going to have uh, someone watching out and trying to stop you from breaching this minefield. Um, so generally, what, uh, the scenario we're going to run down is this tank's going to find the minefield, and it's going to say, uh, "We're I'm not going through I'm not going through this minefield." So hopefully, he sticks around to provide security, and he calls for the combat engineers. Um, <clears throat> he doesn't always stick around for security. He sometimes jets right. Um, so the combat engineers show up in their little armor personnel carrier. Um, they see that we have a concertina wire fence and um, a, a minefield. So this is we're actually talking about two separate problems. So we have to get we have to beat uh, the fence before we can move into the minefield. Uh, a good fence, by the way, uh, could is definitely an anti-tank uh, obstacle. Uh, it could get. It could get uh, wound up here in the, the road wheels and the tracks, and it could stop this tank. So, you know, if I'm talking about a fence and you guys are like, what's a fence if you get this gigantic tank, then um, get out of here. Then that, that's what we're talking about. <laughs> so the engineers pull up, provide o overwatch. Uh, the guy in the, um, the guy with the gun provides overwatch. Tank pulls up, drops the uh, ramp, <clears throat> this guy's okay um, this guy comes out um, and uh, what he does is he's got a grapple a grapple grappling hook and he throws into the fence and shakes it <laughs> um, and what he's doing is he's testing to see if there's any anti-personnel mines attached to this uh, attached to this obstacle we're gonna see this uh, happen again as we go through but we're just talking about the the wire right now so he comes back he says okay everything's fine <clears throat> so to beat the to beat the wire what we're going to use is uh i mean you can use a couple of different things but it to make it fun we're going to use bangalore torpedo so bangalore torpedo is a uh this uh cylinder full of high explosives and it's kind of like a lego like it has like connecting ends right <clears throat> so the engineers pile out of the, the apc one of they all have one piece of this wire. I mean, this wire could go on for, you know, quite some time. So <laughs> they get here and um, they start pushing the wire under, or pushing the Bangalore torpedo underneath the wire like this. All the way through, uh, they hook their um, deck cord up to their time fuse. And uh, if they need to move, they move to a minimum safe distance and, and blow it. So they're... They beat the wire, and remember, at any point in time, the uh, the Overwatch can start raising hell with uh, with these engineers, right? <laughs> That's why, in a perfect world, the tank stays. Um, so the engineers pull back up, wherever they're gonna wherever they're gonna go, and the grapple hook guy comes out again, and uh, what he's gonna do is he's gonna throw the hook, pull it to him advance advance through the minefield throw the hook pull it back to him and advance again throw the hook pull it back to him and then he's going to hightail it back now sometimes he's carrying a reel with um with deck cord uh detonation cord is high explosive cord burns like 24,000 feet a second, like literally you can wrap around the earth and it would just all the way in just a second. <clears throat> now, what, if he lays his deck cord down, that's what uh, the other engineers that have their demo packs are going to do. They're going to come through and, you know, there's probably 
a guy probably unasked the track, and he's probably here, you know, engaging with the Overwatch if, if necessary. If not, he's keeping um, watch over what else is going on. And <clears throat> this guy's got a radio. He's not really doing anything on the radio, though. That's just his, his action figure. Um, so this guy's got a demo pack full of C4 explosives, and they already, uh, you know, high-speed kind of environment like this, they would already have... Um, them primed and just ready to uh, cinch onto the the line main as it's going through as it's as it's going through. There's the line main. All right. So this guy runs up and he's got probably four maybe charges on him, and uh, he'll drop a charge here, get low, cinch it into the line main, move up. Drop a charge here, uh, cinch it into the the line the line main, um, and all, all the way through to uh, to get to the side. In which case, he might want to stick around over here if he can find cover, or he can run all the way back here if he's got good cardio. <laughs> all right, so um, the team leader has already done the math. And then he already knows how much uh, time fuse is needed for them to get minimum safe distance if they got to move at all. So he uh, cinches that onto the line main. They pull the M8 fuse igniter, which is like this little thing. Uh, if that's what they're going to use, uh, you could use a couple different stuff. That's pretty much standard. And these guys get into the their track, and they get minimum safe distance. Uh, the fuse, time fuse runs out uh, and ignites the uh, deck cord, which flies through and blows a hole through here. And now that's gone. Uh, the engineer uh, report back to the tank saying, hey, your lane's clear. Now, I skipped a part. <laughs> then these guys go through and they have these uh, gigantic flags and they put flags through so these guys know where where they can go through, all right. Um, then they get back in their tank, and then they go then they go back to the, the rear of the formation, and this tank comes through. And that is a basic uh, mobility counter mobility problem right there. Now there's other ways to do this. Uh, if you have the the resources and the um, the equipment. Um, if your minefield was all, if it's all back together again, we'll just pretend. They, they have this, it's like an old tank, it's like a 60 class sort of thing, and it has a fox on it with a missile. And this thing's called a, a Miklik, I can't remember what the, the uh, thing is for. But uh, they get out and they adjust this missile for the trajectory, and this missile shoots off. And as it shoots off, it drags, uh, C4 explosive charges on a rope all the way through. So it shoots, we'll just reuse this, and it lands like this, right? And if you use the Miklik, you don't even have to mess around with the, uh, with the wire, because I mean, it's all, it's all the same problem if you're gonna use the missile. Shoots through, drags the C4 out, uh, then they detonate the C4, <coughs> making a huge swath through here. I suggest you look that up on YouTube. Actually, it's it's a it's a fun explosive to watch, and uh, that's there you go. That's pretty much that's pretty much it.